Hey guys, welcome to the Valentine's Day edition of Earthly DIY. At first, we will be making our DIY rose oil. You will need a third cup of dried roses, a quarter cup of castor oil, and a third cup of coconut oil. Then add it to a pot and boil on a low flame for about 10 minutes. So we are using organic dried roses for our recipe. Ensure that the roses you guys are using have no preservatives or chemicals in there because they can affect the skin. If you guys want to use this rose oil on your faces, then just substitute the coconut oil for maybe grapeseed oil and maybe add some rosehip oil as well because coconut oil can clog your pores. Up next, we will be showing you guys how to make a foaming bath whip. You will need 8 grams of the DIY rose oil that we just made, 95 grams of foaming bath whip, 95 grams of sugar mixed with a small amount of pink Himalayan salt, and 8 grams of French clay. So the key to making a great foaming body scrub is to make sure that you whip the foaming bath whip until it's fluffy. So this will help it to blend with the other ingredients. So right here, we're whisking while constantly checking the texture and ensuring to scrape down the sides to ensure that it's all mixed well. So when it comes to a foaming sugar scrub it has in my opinion certain benefits over a normal sugar scrub so it can be considered as a better alternative because it provides the same benefits as a normal sugar scrub without the oily residue that is sometimes left behind it also cleanses the skin and makes for a smoother application this scrub should only be used on the body and not the face we also added the french clay because as you can see after the oils were added to the mixture it became wet so the french clay helps to harden it a bit so it is good in this recipe to add a small amount of oil because that will affect the overall texture of the scrub french clay is a natural exfoliant a powerful cleansing agent and it also helps to detox the skin by absorbing impurities that may lead to clogged pores. The pink Himalayan salt, sugar and also the French clay will serve as our exfoliant in this recipe. If you find that the texture isn't as fluffy as it was before, then you could just pop it into the fridge for about 10 to 20 minutes and this should help. But notwithstanding that, if you leave it in its container, it, after two weeks, it should harden back up. So right here we're adding some rose and hibiscus for color and it also fits with the whole Bad and Times Day theme.
So again we're adding some more rose petals along with the pink Himalayan salt just for mostly presentation purposes so this part is optional. So lastly, we'll be making the rose lip oil, which is self-explanatory, so you guys can just watch the piece of the video and enjoy. That's the end of our Valentine's Day video guys. Thanks for watching. We hope that you liked this one. And tune in next Friday for our next DIY recipe. Bye.